Okay, here we go. This is going to be our course notes video. I'm just going to jump into our studio right here where I've got an R Markdown document that I've titled course notes and I've already gone ahead and saved it as specified in the syllabus where the file name starts with my last name or whatever your last name is underscore that's shift button to the right of zero course notes. I would like you all to name your course notes in a similar manner with your last name underscore course notes. And I highly recommend you create a math 315 folder somewhere on your machine that you can easily locate and you should save your course notes into that folder so that you can always go back to these course notes and continue to add and edit these as the semester progresses. If you can't get this far along where we're starting off in this video, I recommend you go watch again the Getting Started with R Markdown video, and that should help you get set up to at least this point. We are going to describe the format I would like you all to follow for your course notes. We're going to start with this basic template that our studio gives us, and we're going to delete everything under that first code chunk. That first code chunk is important, so we will keep it there. Basically, all I want you guys to do within this course notes R Markdown document is create a list of definitions, notes to yourself about those definitions, and examples, and notes to yourself about those examples. So for instance, you might say, uh, let's just do like a quick template version. Definition, the meaning of a keyword. So this is all I'm really asking you guys to do as far as the definitions go. I want you to put in bold whatever word it is you're trying to define. I want you to follow that word with some text that uses all the fancy statistical jargon there is and then following all the fancy statistical jargon on a new line. I'd like you to provide a definition of the keyword in your own words. What's that word mean, bro? My definition of the word definition is, what's that word mean? Okay, so let's try a uh, more reasonable example. Maybe in this class, from some lecture video, you have seen me highlight the word data frame. Now that is a key word in the world of statistics and R. So a data frame is a two dimensional structure that holds observations in the rows and variables in the columns. That is a formal definition of the word data frame. Notice it has a bunch of jargon in it. All the jargon might not be super meaningful as this class starts. That's why I'd like you to follow up the statistical jargony definition with your own definition. I would offer something like a data frame is the thing that holds a data set in R. And I think that definition is much easier for us to grasp the first time we see it. My hope is as the course progresses, you'll start to blend these two definitions from your definition, which makes immediate sense to you. You'll start to blend that into this definition, which will begin to make sense to you as the course progresses. I don't think you'll just be able to read that and immediately get it. But I think later on, if you come back to this definition and you're like, oh, observations are the thing we measure stuff on. Like if you're measuring the height of individuals, then the individuals are the observations. And so those are the things you're measuring height on. I think if you continue to come back to these definitions and just kind of build on them and add meaning in your own words to them, you will begin to figure out what a data frame in the statistical jargony sort of sense is. Okay, so here's an example of a definition. 
I would also like you all to use examples, like example, a data frame example. The data, the built-in data set cars, and notice I'm putting back ticks. Those are not quotes. Those are um, the button to the left of one surrounding the word. You'll see what that does after we knit this document. You'll see how, how that makes the word cars show up in the output. The built-in data set cars is a simple example of a data frame where the observations are cars. For each car, car in the data set, the speed and distance with which a car moving at speed takes to stop are recorded. So we have an example. We have a little bit of a description about what this example is going to show. And below that, this is the key to our markdown. We will insert an R code chunk. And it gives us this gray box down here with the cursor right in the middle of it, ready to put in some R code. Let's do that one more time. All I need to do to get rid of it is just delete that. We'll go up here to insert, click the little drop down button. We want an R code chunk. And right in there, we're just going to type out cars, which will print the data set, the data frame named cars for us. So here we go. Here is us getting started with our course notes. Let's click knit. And I will put side by side the input document as we did before on the left and the output document on the right so we can see all that our input creates. Up top, course notes as a title. I am the author of these course notes. Here was my first example of the way I would like you to record definitions. Here is the data frame definition. First, the statistical jargon, and then your own words. And I totally encourage and expect you to come back to these definitions over time and refine your own words to help you build and collect meaning around these keywords. These are not fixed in stone throughout the semester once you write them. Edit them, change them, make them better as the semester progresses. Please, I encourage you to come back to this document and edit all of your definitions and examples based on your continuing experience with these words. Here is our example about a data frame. Here's my little short notes to myself about what this example is going to show. You can see cars with the back ticks around it shows up as like a kind of highlighted word. That's going to give that word kind of special meaning to us in the text. You can see here is the R code that requests we print the cars data frame. And oh, it prints for us indeed. Each new row is a new car. And on the first car, we measured how fast that car was going in miles per hour and how long it took that car to stop in feet. So a car, the first car in this data frame was moving at four miles an hour and it took two feet to stop. Okay, each new row is a new observation. Each new column is a variable holding the value of that particular observation. See what I'm trying to do is build to this definition of a data frame. Each new column is a new named variable that records a characteristic about that particular observation. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few more tips as we go through the end of this video. I really don't like you printing out all of a data frame What's probably more important is just the head of the data frame. So let's just immediately go knit again, and we'll see what the function head does. Oh, it only prints the first six observations. That's much more neat. 
we understand what the data frame looks like, even if we're not printing the entire thing. My last tip for this video is if there is a built-in thing in R, an excellent way to ask for help on that piece is to type out in the console down here, question mark, and then that named thing that lives in R. And that will pull up in the help tab of your bottom right screen, the help file on the data set named cars. And you can see we have a data frame with 50 observations and two variables, speed in miles per hour, and dist is the stopping distance of a car moving at a given speed in feet. This is an incredibly helpful tip. I'm gonna mention it in this video and many others. So I hope this video got us started with what I want our course notes to look like. Basically, it's just gonna be definitions of keywords that show up in bold. First, a really fancy definition, and then definitions in your own words. And I want examples where you describe what the example is gonna show, and then maybe some code, and then maybe even some more notes to yourself about what that code is doing. I will let you fill this in as you go. This is just gonna be the start for us.